everyone welcome to the cookies and dream TV channel and today I'm gonna show you um, how to make cookies on cookie press so I got this cookie press about three years ago so let's get started and here are our ingredients one cup of butter two and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour we have here half a teaspoon of baking powder one egg it should be slightly beaten or it doesn't matter really and three fourth cups of um, sugar a teaspoon of vanilla you can add a little like a quarter spoon a teaspoon of almond extract or it doesn't have to be and also quarter teaspoon of salt so let's begin so using a handheld mixer we'll cream our butter let the butter in a bowl and Make sure your butter is at room temperature so that it will be easier. And so, we'll add our 3 4 cup sugar. So when it started to look cream, we can add the rest of our ingredients. We can add the salt, we can add the vanilla, the egg, and beat for around one minute or so. So let's pause for a little bit and let's scrape the side of the bowl to make sure that everything will be incorporated. And so let's add our baking powder to the flour and then let's slowly mix our flour into our buttercream we can add it into th maybe three times so let's add a third of it and you can use also um, spoon or s if you don't have a handheld mixer you can use you know whatever you have it doesn't have to be perfectly done it still tastes the same but you know if you have a handheld mixer it's easier <laughs> So let's scrape the side of the ball one more time. And bit. Now 
now our dough is done. So now that our dough is done, and our oven should have be preheated at 375 degrees, and it should be ready by now. So before you start, or while you are gathering your ingredients, you should preheat your oven by 350 degrees, 75 degrees, okay? And now we've made our dough. If you find your dough is so soft, you can roll it into a log and put it in the refrigerator for around 30 minutes but if it's not here it is cold so our dough is not so, so it's not soft probably in hot countries or humid it may it probably be very soft so you can refrigerate your dough and now let's start with the cookie press we actually have here um, so many desks, call it desks, and we'll try every like single one of them, or maybe a few, not not everything, not all of them. So we'll open this here, and we'll put the desk. Let's try this one. We'll put this one here and put it back. And we'll open here and the top. And we'll put our dough just like, um, yeah. Let's we'll shape it into like a log and drop it into our cookie press tube. Drop it. And then maybe I'm gonna put another one. It should be okay. 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 So it should be fine. And then we'll put it back. And then adjust it so that we can scroll it. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Okay. So we're almost done here. Now, I'll take my baking pan, which is lined with, which is lined with parchment paper, and we'll press our cookie dough into it. So now that we made the dough, I filled out the barrel with the cookie dough and I press it. I use this to press gently on the sheet like this and then there we go. So continue to do that until we finish the cookie dough that we have made. We can change it to the other desk if you like, but I'm pretty satisfied with this shape though, but I would like to try the other one, so we'll see. Wow, we got like um, Christmas tree Christmas cookies.
So if you'd like to add some sprinkles in it or coloring like food color i think it's better to use the gel one than the liquid one because it's gonna change the consistency of our dough and so if you like to add sprinkles then maybe so it's the right time to add so that this your sprinkles will stick on the dough okay so i'm going to finish it and then i'll show you the end result so I I have a sprinkles in here. I'll put sprinkles there. Mmm. They look beautiful. Pretty. If you have small kids, they'll surely love your cookies. And if you wanna add some color in it, of course you do, you can. So now we're done shaping our cookies. We can bake it to um, around eight to ten minutes, or until the edge are slightly brown and the center is pale. You know it's cook when edge is when edges are slightly brown. So let's do it. So I'm able to make around sixty cookies. So they are really nice. And very tasty buttery cookies. So you can make some for Christmas and pack into 15 or 12 pieces to give away for your friends, especially in the season of giving Christmas. So if you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe and check the notification bell for more interesting videos. Bye! See you next time. Bye bye!